Hello ladies and gents, my name is Putty and welcome back for another episode of Pola Noche Enfrentamiento. In the last episode we got introduced to wonderful, wonderful television. We introduced all of our our guys, uh, well not all of our guys, but introduced a good selection of our workers and our stars last week. And in this episode we're going to start turning on the story, turning on the style. Probably going to see quite a break from the guys you saw last week. And uh, we're going to... We're going to start uh, talking about our main event for uh, the big special at the end of the month. So we're going to have not those guys. But we will have the Eternal Kings take on take on Evil Intent in our main event tonight. Which I don't think they've had a singles. A singles. I don't think they've had a two on two. I think they've had uh, two. Yeah, they've had two trios matches. If you're wondering if it's out of sync, it's not. I just uh, I just reacted to the results. Like I said, uh, what I did is I was like, I don't think. Wait, what I did is I said, I don't think they've had a singles match. Oh yeah, they had two trios. But like I, I did it after it left the screen. It was just late reaction. That's all it is. Late reaction. All right, we're gonna have good old Nicholas Lopez go over. Uh, Fourteen minutes. We're gonna tell a story in this one. And this this one, the story. I've been like, uh, I've been looking at a couple of forum posts over the last couple of days, and I realized that storytelling can't simply be as simple as like good versus evil and that match is going to be the simple one-upsmanship storyline then to introduce another important character that we haven't yet uh, he is probably worth talking about mr lucha 3 he hasn't had many singles matches or victories for that matter so we will have him take on extraordinario jr unless they've already had a match which they haven't I remember I usually feed Extraordinario to people. It's like, oh yeah, that's that's a guy I can use. It's like, yeah, maybe not. Have a high spots match. Mr. Lucha 3 goes over. Remember, oh uh, yeah, we haven't really done the Mr. Lucha 3 story on television either. So that's one thing to talk about. So, yeah. With the women's division, I want Dreamer now to have a singles match that she can take on. Uh, La Hija del Diablo, Daughter of the Devil. And she can take a win, because she's bubbly and people love her. Okay, right, now I'm starting to get confused again. The main event is now at the bottom of the card. There you go, perfect. Then we will hire a local talent job. There are a lot of local ta talents available today. Uh, we will go with Miguel Marquez, sure. We want... Sure, we'll have a heel... No, 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 I wanted him face. Ah, well. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't really matter. It really doesn't. So we'll have Mikel. I'll get a small penalty for this. So, we are going to have Pesadilla come in and just absolutely wreck Mikel Marquez. Like, four minutes. The storytelling of this match is going to be that she wrecks him. And, like, murders him. Like, and by murders him, I mean literally murders him. <laughs> he dies at the end of this match. Like, he just crumples over and just dies. Not even, like, that's a, that's a shoot, bro. No, it's not a shoot, but you know, you know what I'm saying. All right. So in this one, we are going to have Marcos Flores. Actually, we're going to, yeah, we're going to have a, we're going to have a video package with Marcos Flores and Hijo Del Mephisto. I think a video package is a, Okay, well, I'm going to have to mute this video because I've once again forgot to turn off a stream. That's okay, I should have muted it. Hopefully you haven't heard that the entire time. <laughs> um, so we will have a video package to start off the show that covers, like, the Mejisto and uh, the Mejisto versus Flores feud. And then continuing the theme of just random backstage promos that appear to have done well, we will do... This time we'll do it on people, though. We'll have Critico... Talk about Gino and how the feud isn't over. It's only one one. Um, actually, I'm gonna do this scripted. It's it's only one one. Um, Critico still, uh, you know, has won one of the matches, and Gino, you know, should feel proud of himself. But the feud is by far not over. And then we'll have Gino later in the show says, "Yeah, of course the feud isn't over. We'll have one more match. I don't know when. I don't know where, but." Yeah, we need to we need to settle this. This this rivalry doesn't get ended as simply as that. Don't worry, I I hadn't intended for it to. 
Then we will have generic Joan Rodriguez promo because I like J-Ro. Throw her out there for four minutes unscripted. She can talk about... Uh, I won't give her like exact things to talk about, but bullet points, she's going to talk about how she's the no, new women's champion of the Confederation of the Territories and stuff like that. And then we'll do an actual angle with Marcos Flores. Can talk uh, about Hijo del Mephisto. And he can talk about, hey, we've had our issues. I want the title. It's really as simple as that. Um, Marcos talks title match at special. So yeah, Mar Marcos is like, our, our issues are purely uh, not business, but professional. All, all I want is a championship match, and uh, I'm going to get it. And when I get it, I'm going to take the title off of you, uh, because I'm one of the best luchadors here, and you're not going to be able to do anything about it. And then Hiho is going to fire back from his hell and brimstone motif in the in vignettes in hell and Mephisto from hell taunts um, Flores and, it, and it's gonna be like yeah you wanted your title shot you got it let's see how you handle it and we don't have enough matches which is fair uh, is that the yeah that's supposed to be at the front and this is meant to come back so we can cut some stuff, like the the highlight package can, can be a minute, and then we can up the main event, three minutes. Hmm. We've gone full angles. Well, this is a TV show, bro. Alright. The fans are expecting 90% matches. That makes sense. Uh, do we have to cut the J-Row promo? I wouldn't like to cut the J-Row promo. I think we'll cut the Marcus promo, because it's not going to be particularly good. The Hee-Ho promo will be what carries that feud out. I would imagine. Uh, that sound good to you, Oli fans? Good. Alright, let's get this show a rolling. Big, big storyline stuff on the line here. Alright, we open with a good video package with Hiho and Marcos basically running through that uh, Hiho took the title off of Marcos and is a demon from hell. Nobody really knows what his motivations are, but he has the title. Marcos wants it. Title match was set for the TV special. El Critico gets a good promo saying this, this isn't over. I still have uh, one match in the series. I want another match. This was bad. Pesadilla murdered someone. That's fine. Uh, Joanne gets a promo backstage. This was pretty good. Well, she's poor at improvising, but she's getting better at her gimmick at least. And then Gino's like, yeah, this isn't over. We will have another match. I don't know when and I don't know where, but we will. Electric Dreamer gets a win. Which is okay. I don't think either of these girls have good psychology, which is the problem. And then this was surprisingly good. I was like, oh, the, the Marcos promo won't do well. It does ridiculously well. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, Marcos is like, hey, I have a title match. This is just professional. No personal animosity between us. I just think I'm the better luchador and I should, I deserve the title. This actually does slightly worse. Um, that's an interesting one. But uh, yeah, so... Hijo del Mephisto is like, Many men have tried to stop me. Actually, one man has tried to stop me. He did not succeed. You will not either. Just shut just, you, just shut up. And then a 67C+, plus, which I know I, I'm getting, I'm starting to get behind Mr. Lucha 3. Um, I've, how the hell... Did this match get better than the 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 av like this is I don't understand this like most of the time nowadays because sometimes it'll have like an average of like ninety and the match will get like sixty and then sometimes it'll be an average of what, what this is like uh, sixty one or something it gets like a sixty seven and like there's a ton of negatives there too main event gets a six seventy one which I'm pretty happy with because these two are not particularly good one of them is in time decline I believe that is Slayer <laughs> but these two are really good so I I guess that kind of makes up for it. So, uh, great heat and good wrestling action. Eternal Kings defeat Evil Intent. Nicholas Lopez defeats Slayer. And the show overall gets a 68C+. I used the, the jobber, who I think I used for like three minutes. Too much. Uh, no, increased our pop in Mexico. Good. Good stuff. Happy with that. And uh, carried on the, the big feud. The big... Oh god, the, the TV rating tanked. It's like, okay, we, we don't actually like you anymore. We lost... About 25,000 viewers between between airings, which is like, uh, yikes. Do we get any pop? 
We did not. But that's fine. We're gonna we're gonna game pop in the TV special, I would imagine. I would imagine. Devil's Reign is doing pretty well. Pretty happy with that. Uprising, yeah. Uh, what have we got set up for the show for the paper for the TV special? We just have Um Wait, what have we got? Okay, here we go. We have this set up for yeah, okay, so we have Frankie D. Nicholas Lopez, which is fine. And then we have Mephisto and Marco Flores. Okay. So who haven't we booked? A lot of women. Yeah, okay. I'll spend the next show kind of focusing on the Campeon Campeonatos de Mexico and the um the women's title. Campeonatos de Pejeras? Mujeres? Something like that. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the rest of the series, and I will see you guys next time for another episode of Pola Noche Enfrentamiento live on Canal 3. I will see you guys then. Adios.